Hey dear. Somehow I need to start off today differently. I don't think good morning does it justice whatsoever because last night my video launched where I, I announced my new company and I already sold out of shirts. I sold out of shirts in a few hours, which is completely mind blowing. I woke up really, really hoping to sell one shirt. That was my goal. I even told Dorian, who's staying at my house right now, like, dude, if I sell a shirt, yo, I'd be so stoked. And on top of that, that is such an amazing thing. But the best part are the comments in the video. The video did really well, which is also unbelievable. But there was like 1,600 comments within a few hours that were all just very supportive, very excited about what I'm doing, and very hyped on the video that I created for the launch and it was just an unbelievable morning so far. It's been so great and I just want to thank you dudes an incredible amount. And we're already at the skate park. We're at Beachmont Skate Park at 6 in the morning. I woke up at 5 in the morning super nervous about this video and amped to see how the results were and it has just been the greatest morning of my life? Maybe. Is that switch? What? Was that switch? Oh, no, 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 no. Did it look switch? Oh, no, 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 no. For some reason, I just figured it was switch. Oh, maybe I just didn't do it that good looking, I guess. I don't know. Oh, no, I wasn't I wasn't trying to imply that at all. I just. I mean, I could probably do it better. I'll try, I'll try another one. But now there's some questionable questions in skateboarding. This question in particular, probably a question best never to ask, but some of these questions that I will mention, there is a time and place for these questions, but you gotta really, really be able to read people and know when to ask in the right circumstance. Was that switch almost never ever works? First of all, it makes someone feel insecure about the way they did the trick. Asking was that switch is basically asking, did you just do that trick backwards? Because it looked like you kinda did that trick backwards. And it's also kind of a bummer to disappoint someone who asks, was that switch all enthusiastically? And you're like, no. And then they're like, oh, it almost makes it seem like the trick that you just did wasn't as impressive. I think the best question to ask in those circumstances is, are you regular or goofy? No feelings hurt. Are you sponsored? Now this one's kind of an ego bash as well if you were to say no, because sometimes it's disappointing not having any sponsors and bringing it up doesn't really feel that awesome. Also, if you are sponsored, mentioning it in front of your friends is actually kind of embarrassing. It feels almost like a form of bragging, like, yeah, I am sponsored, I got all these uh, free stuff, yeah, and I don't know, I think it's just a question that should be avoided altogether. Oh, sick, are you trying to go pro? This goes along with the last question. I think in the back of every skateboarder's mind, at least just a little bit, a part of them wants to be pro, but in skateboarding, it's not really cool to admit that you're skateboarding to be pro. You wanna act as if you're skating 100% just to have fun and that you don't want a career out of it, but if someone asks you who doesn't skate as well, you don't want to tell them like, no, I don't really have an end goal for all of this. I'm just trying to have as much fun as I can all day, every day. Sometimes for some people that is kind of embarrassing, but I think it's just a question that should be avoided. Oh, you okay? Now this is probably the most controversial. And the thing is, there is definitely a time to ask, are you okay? In my opinion, if someone falls and it looks like they get hurt, but they don't really react as if they're hurt, they're kind of like this. Like all cool guy, like yeah, I'm just chilling. I think that's a good time to kind of go up to them and be like, yo, are you okay? Cause that looked pretty bad. And then be like, ha, no, I'm dying inside. But when someone falls and they're yelling enthusiastically and they're screaming in agony, that is not a good time to ask, are you okay? Cause obviously it is so obvious that they are not okay. Plus the last thing I ever want to do when I'm hurt is to have a conversation about the pain that I'm feeling. Is this trick scary? I don't know, are you scared to try it? Yeah. Then yeah, I guess so. Hey, remember when Charlie broke his ankle on the same rail you're skating? Never put that into someone's mind who is about to skate the obstacle. Do not remind them that someone at one time got seriously injured because skateboarding is like 75% a mental battle and if they have that in the back of their head the entire time while trying a trick, bad news. Hey, who's the best out of all you guys? Now who in the world is going to say me? Is the best dude in the crew actually gonna say in front of all his friends, I'm the best one here? Nobody will answer that question. That is not a good question to ask anyone at all. If you pull them aside and say like, yo, are you really good compared to your friends or something like that? That's still really weird. What am I talking about? Don't ask that question. So like, what's your best trick? 
This question is totally understandable, but the thing is in skateboarding, there are an infinite amount of tricks. And if you've been skating for a few years, you've probably done a lot of combo tricks and just like at least a thousand tricks. And it's really hard to pick the one that you think is the best. Also, it's subjective. A trick for me that is really, really easy could be hard for this guy and vice versa. So there's no really best trick. It's just all opinion. That's my short list of questions that I think can be really dumb in situations to ask, but usually you just have to be able to read the situation. Just make sure you're asking a question that isn't gonna hurt feelings and think about it all the way through before asking, kind of like anything in life ever. Now let's go pick up Dorian, shall we? Are you ready to do this? <laughs> How weird of a scene is this? I'm at the shred quarters every single day. Ah! That was the first trick Dorian has ever tried in the shred quarters, but we're about to get the session on right now. It's just us two, and uh, you missed the first trick you ever tried. Don't you ask me to settle. We have been running errands. I am exhausted, I'm running on fumes. Little update for the whole day. Since I woke up super, super early to deal with all of the awesome clothes selling out, which I am so excited for. Uh, they're gonna restock. If you go to the website, you'll see the date they're actually gonna restock. Um, I'm exhausted. This whole day I've been really tired. I even slept at the shred courts a little bit while Dorian just destroyed it. And now we're at Ludlow Skate Park, and this is me trying to revamp just a little bit, but we're kind of running on fumes today. We're going really slow, and it's totally cool. Sam Tabor's about to meet up with us, and skateboarding will happen, and I hope you've enjoyed the skateboarding so far. Isn't this dude super good? Dorian's awesome at skateboarding. I just wanna give a major shout out to my homie Sam Tabor. Uh up in the house right now. Oh, oh man, that's oh. Oh. Sounds like you're like really enjoying it. Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen this beautiful face since California. I've missed you, Thomas. And I want to say hi again. Hey. Which isn't genuine because I already said hi to him, so that's the second hi. hi. Hola. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh. Dude. What? <laughs> Apparently Dorian just rolled his ankle. That's why he's in pain. Yeah. Mother. Huh? My right one. Worth it too. <laughs> Exhaustion level has to be at about a five thousand right now. Unfortunately, Dorian is injured. It sucks super bad. I don't know how tomorrow's gonna go, but right now we're all relaxed and we're all hanging out. And uh, I'm gonna start working on all the orders that I got the other day on the clothes. I haven't been through this process since I did the baby onesie clothing where I'm packaging and shipping off clothes. So uh, I'm gonna show you the process through that and how budget everything is right now because uh, it kind of took me by surprise and I had to just buy the first thing that I could possibly buy to ship things out. So it's kind of funny. And 
I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It was amazing to see how many people support the meaning that I was pushing or the idea of Progress Daily and uh, having all the products sell like it did. It, it's unbelievable to me, but I'm gonna work on that for the rest of the night, so I'm gonna have a quote, and then I'm gonna end this vlog right now. And the quote was submitted to me by Ryan Downs, and the quote itself is by J.R. Tolkien. Not all who wander are lost. So I'll say this right now, maybe they can hear me, but Dorian and London, they are here because they are traveling the country in a van right now. It is phenomenal, it's amazing, and they've been through all aspects of life. They understand how everything works. They're not just going around being like, I don't know what to do, I'm lost. They understand life and they're just exploring because that's what makes them feel good and it makes me feel whole and I appreciate that so much and I feel the same way when I travel. I feel like it's a part of what I should be doing. I'm not searching for something, I'm just wandering and exploring. So thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting, and liking. I'll see you tomorrow for another video, dudes. Um, it is really hot outside, I'm sweating ball sacks and uh, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Tomorrow will be very similar as well. Skating with my bros, having fun, and life is really cool. So thanks a lot and good night. <laughs>